Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to discuss lead code weekly 410 contest solutions. So this is first question. Let's begin. Okay. So let's begin with the first question, which is snake in matrix. So the problem statement here is it is saying that there is a snake in n cross n matrix grid and can move in four possible direction. That means if it is at any cell, it can move either left right or up down in these four possible directions and each cell in the grid is defined is identified by the position okay so in this grid each position is identified as this it is row number into n plus the column number suppose if you have a matrix uh, something like this So let's say 0, 1, 2, and 3 are the rows and these are the columns. Okay, so it is saying that here it is 0, 0 cell, right? So let's substitute in i cross n plus j. So it is going to be 0 into n plus 0. Mean, that means this is cell 0 and next it is 1, 2. 3 and so on what will be the next cell what is the position here for 1 comma 0 if you substitute here here the row number is 1 and column number is 0 so let's substitute here 1 into n plus 0 so it is going to be n followed by it is n plus 1 next it is n plus 2 n plus 3 and so on whatever the next row second row it is going to be 2 into n plus 0 so it is going to be 2n plus 2n plus 1 and so on the same thing for third row and all the other rows okay then it is saying that snake starts at cell 0 and follows a sequence of commands okay so your starting point is this 0 okay and followed by you are given an integer n representing the size of the grid and the area of strings commands where command of i is either up right down and left which are the directions okay it, it it's guaranteed that the snake will remain within the grid boundaries throughout its movement throughout its movement okay so we need to return the position of the final cell where the snake ends after the executing after executing all the commands the question is very simple and straightforward so you will be given a value n followed by commands commands array so from you have a matrix of size n into n you need to perform all these commands starting from zero after performing all these commands this point will end some at some cell you need to return the position of that cell that's it the, this is all it means let's look at the sample test case one is probably a simple one so let's go with this sample test case too so it is given that you have a matrix of size 3 cross 3 and then commands are starting the first command is down so you are starting from 0 right down in the sense this is the cell which is down to it you'll start from here you'll go to this cell next command is right you'll go to right cell this one then you'll go up means this cell so you'll return one as the answer because after executing all these comments after executing these three comments we ended at position two so output is one i hope the question is clear so the main challenge here is when you are at any particular cell how will you move to right how will you move to left how will you move to up cell how will you move to down cell left and right are simple right so left is just add plus one to it if this is if this is two 
to go to its right it it is just plus one to it right so add plus one what about left it is just inverse of it minus one what you'll add to go to upsell if this is s what you'll add to go to upsell if you see here uh, assume you are at this cell if you want to go to the upsell what is changing what is the difference between these two positions the position here is n plus 1 the position is just 1 so what you'll add minus n right the same thing for down cell as well you'll simply add plus n so that is all it so you'll start from 0 which is your starting position and you'll iterate, iterate through this command array and for each command if you see that it is right you'll simply add plus 1 if it is left you'll subtract minus 1 and if it is upside you'll add minus n if it is done you'll add plus n that's it and yeah let's move on to code okay let me move this yeah so let's have the starting point or let's simply say yes uh, then we'll iterate through these commands which is string array let let me do this uh, let's say command commands and I need to simply match each command with up down and left and right so as it is string we need to use dot equals if it is up if it is up we need to subtract n then if command dot equals if it is let's say down simply add plus n else if if this command is equals to say left uh, these are caps that is the reason the directions are in caps as it is left we are going to left set so minus one else the only direction which is left is right so we need to check we don't need to check it separately again just add plus one at the end simply return after performing all these comments you will be at some position simply return it yeah let's run it submit yeah it is done that's it guys for this video if you want to learn problem solving in detail uh, you can refer our smart coder course and i'll also drop the link in the description you can head over there to know more about it and if you like this content, do like, share and subscribe. I'm Harry Vardhan, signing off.